Hello and welcome to Infinity. A very little used gradient is the bitmap gradient. So let's have a look at how we might how it works and what we can do with it. So let's start off with file. Let's create a new file from scratch. Defaults will work. If you're trying to do a gradient using the gradient tool here, you can't change the type up here because you haven't got a layer. You need a layer to work with. So we'll hit add pixel layer down here. There's nothing in it to start off with. And there's no point putting anything in because the moment you start with a gradient, it will overwrite whatever is in that layer. So let's go to the bitmap one, which is down at the bottom here, past the ones we use otherwise. So let's select that. It asks us to select a file. So let's take one of these. Um, sometimes it'll it'll pop up this thing immediately like this and there's a and you can drag these things around from the corner it gets all funny and so on but don't worry about that because you've got this started here you can the moment you click it will start again. So no look here's a little image in this and see what you're doing as you drag this in and out you're kind of zooming into the image but what's happening with the image as well is anything at the edge of the image stretches out in all directions. So it's just the last, the limiting low, la, rows of pixels around the edge. So that's kind of interesting because we can maybe do some things with that. So what if I start here and just do a little bit? So you can't actually see the real picture. Yeah, I can do things. I can create kind of an interesting background. And in fact, if I, I want to use the image itself, then so if I do a file place, I've got the colors from that picture already in here. So if I, if I draw in the picture, there we go. And I've got the matching colors in the background. So I can put a stroke in, say, and the color from here. I could pick a color or I could use the color picker within here, drag that around to some nice color within here say, and that's on there to put that into there. I need to click that again. So that's going into the stroke. So now I click on the stroke there and I can increase the width to whatever I want, say 20 pixels, say something nice and strong. And here we go. And there, that's a way of using the bitmap gradient to create a background that matches with the things that you're putting in. And for very, very little effort. How about that? There we go. And thank you very much for watching.